Welcome, Welcome to another episode of Fresh Bar Sports Show. I'm Jabari Harris. I'm your host and the provider. As you can see, we back at it with another episode of Money's with Q. How you feeling, man? What's going on, my guy? Uh, um, before we get into everything, you know, I got to shout this out. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube page if you haven't already. Uh, Fresh Bar Sports Show YouTube page. If you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube page. Uh, we got plenty, plenty of NBA playoffs stuff to get into. No time to be uh, wasting. Obviously, we got some other things in the sports weekend to, to address. Um, matter of fact, I guess we can. Um, I guess we can start with, with my Lakers. We took we took the loss from the uh, from the Nuggets. I'm actually just trying to pull the score up. Uh, I don't know why it's not popping right up, but, but uh, yeah, no, because uh, my, my game. I had to scroll past. Okay. All right. 114, 103 loss to the, to the Nuggets on game one. Now, I'm definitely disappointed. I was impressed with Anthony Davis now. I'm not even going to lie. Anthony Davis, but obviously besides the besides the box score numbers, I mean, uh, Anthony Davis, 32 points, four blocks, 11, oh, excuse me, 14 rebounds. I was impressed with him because uh, what I wanted happened pretty much offsetting Joker, 32 12 rebounds. Obviously, he got the seven assists, um, but you know uh, he ain't had no blocks compared to to uh, Anthony Davis' blocks. But Anthony Davis, he he chipped in with five assists, so he definitely offset it, Joker to the fullest. LeBron James, obviously, he's 39 years old. His impact is only going to be so so limited. With 27, uh, six rebounds and eight eight assists. Now Jamal Murray, he he uh he had 22 points. Points, but that was kind of like a little mediocre game for for, for I, I, I know he only uh, went nine for twenty four from the field, but Michael Porter didn't snap. He didn't put in the nineteen points. Aaron Gordon, twelve points. You had uh, um, Davis Caldwell Pop. He had twelve points, and then you had uh, Watson coming off the bench with, uh, bench with eight, eight points. The rest of the, the Lakers role players, D'Angelo Russell and Austin Reeves gave you thirteen points, and we're not even going to get into the bad shooting that D'Angelo Russell that took place. Yes, he's a five. All right, so you, do you want me to pull, pull the stats up for this guy? This guy went six for 12, 20 from the field, one from nine from the he had, a, you, he, had a, he had a bad game, but don't act like he ain't have a good playing game. You know? See, see. Don't act like he ain't have a good that, 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 that playing don't game, do that. Stuff, man, don't do that. Man, that, 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 oh, that's an exhibition. Man. That don't count on nobody's stat sheet. It, you look the stats up. I'm just saying, you look the stats up. It ain't a playoff stat. It ain't a regular season stat. You might as well call it exhibition. I'm, oh, I'm just saying what, what it technically is. Well, that ex so, exhibition stats helped y'all make it to the seventh seed. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. hey, yeah. All right. To help us we get it. But okay. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised to see a performance like this. Um, And like I said, the, the, the defense is weak. Jamal Murray was just missing shots. Um, And obviously, he still had more points than D'Angelo uh, Russell. But that's besides the point. We already know his defense is not going to be there. The 13 points, and you jacking up 20 plus shots. Come on, man. I need 21 or, or, or more. You jacking up 20 plus shots, and, I, and, and you only gave me 13. And, and, and eight missed from the three. You six foot five. I'm going to need you to get your big behind down there and go on the paint. Do some post moves. Do something. Get easy buckets. Like, what are you doing? Like, the shot clarity is not, not, not falling for you. And. Fatigue, I understand, might be sitting there, but he don't play too much defense for the fatigue sitting there. I'm just trying fatigue. to say, you know, about high, elevated, stuff like that. Uh, maybe people that's playing two way, both both ends, maybe the little fatigue will be sitting there and you don't want to have your legs. But you, don't, you ain't giving max effort on defense. So you got all, all the energy in the world. Plenty of TV timeouts galore. No excuses. I need some other fire, uh, fire punch because – Excuse me. I mean, I understand people like well, to put up numbers, range, though? but I'm saying I like I know um, where I'm going. I know people like to put up numbers on bad losing teams that don't do nothing. Cause Spencer Dinwiddie, come on, man, you had zero points. <laughs> like I don't know what's going on. Hold on, wait, 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 because just a couple of shows ago, I said something about Spencer. You said, "Oh, nah, he's cool. Yeah, I, nah, I mean, he's coming out." I, yeah, cool but you like because he now, was. Now, he, was, he, he was playing the role a little, uh, little bit. You know what I mean? He man. was doing a little something, something at the, yeah, nah, the, the goes zero points off, off the bench. No. 
I mean, that don't even sound like to go zero points off the bench. To be honest, we only had Terry and Prince. That's crazy. Terry and Prince is the only one that scored. He had 11 points off the bench. Everybody else gave you zero. Jackson Hayes, obviously, I gave you zero. And um, Gabe Vincent, I don't know who talk about he playing defense, coming back from the injury, playing defense on Jamal Murray. Like, who said that was a thing? Like, he, no, he's not all right doing that. He's the last person I want playing defense on Jamal Murray. You've been out all season, my, my, my guy, and now you're supposed to be coming back as a defensive player? And I thought you were supposed to be somebody be, be shooting at three? Like, what is going on here? Nah. Um, I don't have much for everybody else because nobody else is giving me much. Rui Hachimar, I'm highly disappointed in him. I understand he gave me the seven points with the four attempts. But I'm going to need some more attempts from you because you uh, you, 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 you earned to be able to, to shoot more, more than four attempts. And I'm, I, I, we need role players to step up. Like, we understand it's going to take a unit to beat them. And I'm going to need these guys to be having games when LeBron James and Andy Davis will be sitting out. I'm going to need them to have these type of games with these guys in there and them, and, and, and them still continue to give them numbers, Andy Davis and LeBron James, like they've been doing. I expect to see more of this from Anthony Davis again tonight, I, at least offset. I don't know not, about all that. Not Joker, but Joker's getting 30. I expect you to get 30. Joker getting double-digit rebounds. I expect you to do the same thing. And you wasn't too far off on assists. And then, yeah, yeah I'm going to need four blocks out of you. And, and stuff like that. What you mean he's not? You shaking your head no, like he ain't going to be offset. Set, 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 I, Joker. See, I, I, see, I, see a, I see a 24-point night. Oh, you know? man. Okay. You, you, you see like, the roller coaster effect. You hope he don't give you the teens. You know he had his good game already. He might go to his bad yeah, yeah, game. Yeah, man. We, we, we have, oh, we got no chance. We got we, we got no <laughs> chance. I need I need Joe. I need I need uh, Anthony Davis to the the, the continue to offset Joker. LeBron James. Yes, I can demand a little bit more from him. Obviously, because he just know the the help that we got ain't, ain't, ain't dependable. But he's thirty nine years old. I know the fatigue is all all all, all with, with oh, running man. Uh, running right through his body. I understand that. Austin I Reeves. I don't hear none of that. Come on, man. I've been I've been giving you high praises. This is unacceptable. Thirteen points, and I understand I'm hearing stuff in the media as of late, but they don't know Austin Reeves came as a two way player in the way he grind. They talking all all, all this. Uh, he can't play defense. He's struggling on defense. Man, how he earned his stripes was was playing defense. That, well, that you better that, get that, back that's to it. I, that's what I believe with the, the earn the. For to be away from the two way contract to get a full guaranteed contract to be on the four main roster, he's playing the defense and the offense was slowly but surely coming along and things of that nature. Uh, because you know, obviously, he was still behind Russell Westbrook and uh, Rondo was there. And then you had bad, 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 you had all these people that these point guards and everything that he was uh, every badly, he had all these guys that he was behind, but they like obviously they, they could see he had some moves off his you know, some dribbling and, and could shoot, and uh, and the defense was there. Now I don't know what's going on. The defense is is is, is highly suspect about now. Austin Reeves, I'm gonna need a bounce back game tonight from you and D'Angelo Russell. The 13 points from both of y'all guys. I'm I, I'm disappointed in the averages y'all gave me in the regular season, and y'all giving me less than that in the playoffs. Man, y'all can get up out of here for all that stuff. And I was this, on this version buying the Austin Reeves jersey, but I, you know me. I know I said I need to see the pattern. Let me see what he do this season and this playoff to be deemed worthy of me buying that jersey. You can't even follow up with another good season. Because the the, the the averaging the 15 last season and the averaging 15 this season, nah, man, that, that ain't most improved. Nope. That's status quo. That's staying the same. So, yeah, I, I, I was expecting to see 21 points per game, minimum. Uh, uh, I mean, I could leave it right there. Uh, but where I'm just, man, main focus is, the role players, and obviously the the, the starters, D'Angelo Russell, because that's that's y'all guy. That that's who who y'all y'all hanging y'all hat high on and, and acting like Lakers could depend on him. I already know we can. not He ain't built like that. I'm I'm trying to hold my head high on, you know what I mean, uh, and, and put put my um, you know, cart my cart my uh, cart my wagon to the to the awesome resource per se because. I believe in his offensive game. I believe in the killer instant. And yes, his defense is definitely better than Oscar. I mean, uh, D'Angelo Russell. So, 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 your prediction tonight? 
I I need Austin Reeves to step up. I can't. I ain't. I ain't betting not a dollar on D'Angelo Russell to do anything. <laughs> I, I I can't. That's not good money. I like. I I, I ain't throwing my I, I, throwing my money after bad money. Come on, man. That ain't, that ain't good money. Austin Reeves giving me a 23, 25 point per game tonight. You know, obviously, he's going to be having assists, defensive steals, give me about two steals out there, getting deflections, you know what I mean, doing his thing. Give me about six, seven assists, you know what I'm saying? Get, leading the offense, controlling everything. At, at having LeBron James and Anthony Davis be the finisher, giving LeBron Hachimura some lobs or something, and kick him out into the corner for the three. Maybe get, give D'Angelo Russell a corner three, uh, I mean, not a corner three, a, a wing three, a top of the key three, things of that, that type, type, type of nature. Um, but I believe to see Austin Reeves be more point guard, more scorer. Um, that, 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 that's what I expect because, uh, he got the killer instant and, um, he's more dependable than Angela Russell. I believe in that wholeheartedly. Um, and that's where I'm at with it. Obviously, like I said, Austin Reeves, I mean, um, Anthony Davis and LeBron James continue to have their games and LeBron James got it in him. Give me a 30 point per game, 30 point game tonight. If you got it, in, you, you might it. need it. You might need it. But, um. I need I I need uh, Austin Reeves to go off for the twenty one bare minimum, but but the twenty three twenty five that could really still the deal for us. We we need another twenty point uh, twenty one on a point per, per game score, especially in the playoff, especially against going going against the best team, and you know you got to have Michael Porter be going off for the three snapping and everything like that. They got called Col um Casavis Caldwell Pup. He's gonna be hitting threes and he always got a. Uh, uh, actually ground with the Lakers. Yeah, obviously, he won a championship with them, and we got him about it. We understand that. So, you you, you know he's going to play hard. Aaron Gordon, he's going to take some 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 pride going against LeBron and, and Anthony Davis, but mainly against LeBron. And we understand that it's the, like the uh, Anthony Edwards, you know, going after his guy, Kevin Durant. It's, it, it, it's, it's that type of thing from Aaron Gordon. We understand it. But I'm going to need it. Um, these guys, my, my Lakers guys to put a kibosh on that. Man, I'm going to just cut it short. Denver by 10 tonight. Oh, yeah? Yeah, man. I don't know, okay. don't know if y'all got what it takes, man. Y'all, this is this is what, 10 straight? We was up, straight turning off? the ball over, looking real crazy out there. Look, look man, uh, Jokic is just going to be Jokic. We all know. But as long as Porter stepping up and you got uh, uh Murray stepping up, uh, they good, man. Josh Gordon going to do what he do. He going to give you the uh, 10 to 15 a game. So as long as Porter give you that good 15 to 20, maybe 25, and, and Murray give you that 20 to 25, I don't know if y'all man, if y'all got enough to stop these guys. And y'all bench is suspect. They play when they want to play. Yeah, but the 12 uh, turnovers don't hurt, help either. The 12 turnovers definitely didn't help at all. How many turnovers did Denver have? They had um six. All right, so that's half for it. So but, basically six turnovers. But they play, that, that, they play in clean, clean basketball. Getting help galore. I mean, they playing a, a, a good, like, you know, they playing a good game, not a perfect game, because obviously we did have the lead on them or anything like that, but they played as good as the closest of a game to be perfect. I mean, the, the, besides the fact they was they was down, you know what I mean? And so the second half and it, the third quarter, that called Katavis came over, Paul, he just snapped on us. And, then, you know what I mean? And, and, and Joker's still just leaning his body. I just don't see him lean on them if, if, and just have his way with these guys. I need LeBron James to step if, up and play some defense on, on Joker a little bit. If AD... Roy Hachimura can't talk about the club. Man, I'm just if, putting my shoulder on you. you see, I'm putting my shoulder wanna, on this guy. You don't want to put that much weight on LeBron, man. You already talking about he get fatigued. He I, older, but, get fatigued. But, but, but I'm saying, you don't want to put all that on him. I believe uh, Austin Reeves and DeAndre Russell to be snapping for 20. All right, LeBron needs to talk to him, young fellas. I'm going to need y'all to take over the offensive side. I'm going to be having to have heavy if minutes a on, on Joker on defense. If AD going to have another 30 point game, I give y'all a better, I give y'all a chance. I give y'all a chance. But if he don't, which I don't think he will, then I don't, I don't see it. Y'all, I'm looking at these scores. I didn't even know that the, 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 the uh, see, this is the game I knew was going to be on NBA TV. Uh, you know, the Cavaliers and the Magic <laughs> is going on. As yeah, they just started. Right? They just nobody, started, yeah. nobody didn't worry about this. You know, we, 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 we you know, we worry about, uh, you know, you know, obviously my Lakers and you know, I, I guess the Knicks play too. You know, you know what I'm saying. I guess, you yes. know, I guess the Knicks play in the Sixers or whatever. Don't we? Yes. Go, we go. We 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 gonna get to all that stuff. But I'm just looking. I'm like, dang. Okay, they got the uh, they got this game going on right now, and nobody yeah. didn't even really worry about it. That 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 series is so boring. I I, I I already told you. And um, 
obviously Cavaliers, they took the first game in that, but uh, we're not even worried about that. Let's go to the um, to the other matchups. Hey, I mean, I, obviously, since, since we're at it, we might as well get ahead and talk about your Knicks and just get this out the way. Um, your Knicks took, <laughs> took a one, took, took a one, <laughs> took a one eleven, one oh four. Yeah, it got a little close at the end. I know, you know, got a little couple of low, you know, maybe missed a little bit, you know, uh, empty empty calorie stats points at the end, but but. They, this was a back and forth game a little bit. Was jo- Joel? I told you. I listen. Oh. I told you. Oh. He not, I told. I, I said if he wasn't right, like yeah, yeah. if he ain't, he ain't right. Cause y'all well, know he's right. They y'all not have no chance. Come up, come up. First of all, first of all, first of all, he made himself not right. He the one I want to be throwing alley oops, catching it off the back yeah, You feeling man. good? You know. You, you, know, you, know, you, know, you know how it is when you're feeling good. He was feeling, he was feeling a little good. He, was, you know, he, he thought he was playing all right. He was feeling good. He thought he was 100% for a second. And then once Big Mitch came in there, tall man. Start slowing down. He's talking about tall man. Then he starts slowing he down. He's not even uh, starting uh, no more. Y'all got Huggins well, took the third spot. Coming off an injury. He's getting his shit together. I'm just saying. He'll be starting by the <laughs> mid playoffs. I'm just mid- saying. Man, to be like that. Round. I, you know the superstars, but we ain't saying he's superstars, but if you like that, can he get right? you know what it is. Can he get right? Okay. Harkin's not been playing okay. good. You don't want to mess up that flow. Have him come off the bench. <laughs> good money, you know what I mean? Have him come off the bench, you good. I feel like everything's going to go right now. I don't know if anybody's going to beat us in a four-game series right now. That's just probably how I feel good. But, you know, maybe Boston. Maybe Boston. That's, that's going to be the only competition we got for the East side. Cause I, I think the next series... I think Indiana gonna beat Milwaukee. Nah, I think the Bucks is going with that. You see how Dame Dollar was snapping? I didn't like he ain't scored. Oh, I mean, he but but you can see they come on, man. It was up by twenty seven. It was up by twenty. They they was having the lead. He was and they, they we not gonna act like they was a double team and, and, and blitzing them. Now we ain't gonna just all right. We look at the stat sheet. He ain't scored. Like we we watching the game. Y'all see that they were sending the double team and getting the ball out of his hands and and he uh, Bobby Porter's doing his thing, That's balling on him. That's yeah, Bobby, Bobby. Bobby Porter's out there balling on him. And Chris Middleton, there I say he was looking like his old self. So, you know, all that. All I, don't that. Know if, I don't know if I can depend on that, though, the whole series. I don't know if I can put, depend on that the whole series with Chris Middleton. Yeah, with Chris so Middleton, yeah, that's, that's, that's I can't, a little I can't say nothing. But, but see. you see they was dipping into uh, Brooke Lopez. Come on, man, we got these. Miles Turner can't do nothing with, with Lopez. You know, Lopez used to be doing the post moves back in the day now. Yeah. He tapped into that a little bit. Got a little easy buck. You need everybody to chip in, this and that. Uh, I would like to see more Pat Beverly play, but I just I, I understand they they had to get a little more scoring in, but because we still need somebody to help off with the, with the defense with for Dame Dollars, you know, they, you know what I mean? We, we know a lot of teams, you know, know a lot of teams cut their rotation down to play off as well. So, but hey, but Pat Beverly started though. I'm, I mean, they gave him a quick leash. They gave him a quick leash. You know how it go. Hey man, things wasn't working out, but, but come sit down. Now, nah, but yeah, Joel. <laughs> He just, he just snapped on y'all for the 29, eight rebounds. Come on, man. He wasn't it, so. He ain't get double digit rebounds on so y'all, y'all tall because skinny man out there. Not, I mean, I know, talk, excuse me, Hagerstein, well, he got 10 more pounds on Mitchell. But they, they still ain't the two any well, that, 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 that watch, seven footers carrying. Go watch, go watch Mitch today. See how skinny he is that you keep on talking about. That's number one. They say number he, they, two, hey, they say two, he's 240. That's what they listen to him as. Hey, don't worry about what they listen, man. Go see what hey, remember the eyes. It, go, he looks small like, compared. They both look small compared to Joel. They both look boy, small compared boy, to Joel. Boy, you crazy. They, go watch. Like they I'm both saying. look smaller compared to Joel. Offensive, you know what I mean? Offensive rebounds. We take Joel the had the big old we'll cast take- on his knee. Come on, man. Y'all know he ain't. And he be moving sus with the well, knees we the as top, it is we, prior to the we, injury. We wanted the, we wanted the top offensive rebounding teams in the league, bro. That's would you want to be would you want to be healthy? You know he get more than these eight rebounds. All y'all skinny bodies, get out of here, well, man. No. Mm-mm. Now I did, did appreciate Tyrese Massey, thirty three points. What? That was that was the thing in beauty. You need more of that. You can't have anything less than that because. Joel and B the twenty nine didn't look right. It does not. It wasn't dominating in fashion, cause you could just tell he was just slumbering around. He wasn't moving. You know, he usually he he got good feet work and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? He got he, he moved with some some good fluidity for as for as, for a big man. I'm just like man, he 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 ain't right, man, cause he be he would be dominating these guys every time down the court and calling for the ball every time down the court. But he know he need the breaks and stuff like that. Oh, God. 
and keep on talking without dominating us. Bro, Joel is not built when it comes to us oh. like that. Man, we ain't worried about none man. of that, man. We ain't worried about none of that, all that dominating in the post. We got that work done. And, and this good. is the game they, they needed to get because, you know, Joel, I mean, I said Joel, I mean, Jalen Brunson, he had a bad game, you know, a bad a game. Bad game. Bad, cause, you know, because I, I, apparently he be snapping for 30s all the time the way y'all be talking about. And 45. So, 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 so he had a 22 points, but 13 is, um, no, no, excuse me, that, um, that was him. Uh, seven, 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 seven rebounds. Josh yeah. Harris, I mean, Josh Hart. Yeah. He had yeah. the 22 points yeah. and the 13 rebounds. But we ain't going to act like he's a small man. He's 6'5 he's, he's now, athletic. So we ain't going to act like he's a small man. So, he's, so he should just be getting all these rebounds like that on, on, on Joel, your man, Joel, and all the rest. He of got them. the big old brace. So you, so you watch, he, he wasn't bleeding through the brace? Through the tights? Come on, man. Don't act like you see the blood through the tights. What are we talking that's about? A, that's his fault. Why don't we going up doing yams and one-handed alley oops and all that stuff? We ain't telling him to go. Oh man, you know that. you start feeling good. You start feeling like, oh, I'm back. No. Nah. You start, you start getting that mindset that you nah. ain't really 100. percent Instead, you been sitting and set yourself back a little bit. Um, OG, I don't know if he's still hurt, but he only had 11 points because one steal, uh, four rebounds. So that was a bad game for him because of the defense. I mean, uh. I, I, mediocre. I mean, nothing to, to write home about. I guess he's still working through his injury. But the wins will win. Oh, oh, who's the uh, kid? Um, McBride, the 21 off the bench? Miles. My man. Yeah. My man's oh, Miles. Miles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted us to jab him when he was coming out of college. We got him in the second round. I was I was good. I was happy with that. I like his potential. He's good, man. 3 and D type of guy. He'll take over the bench and give you some points. Yeah. Miles. Yeah. Miles. 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 Somebody coming off the bench like that, man. Y'all, 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 y'all have no, no choice but to win the game. I wish I had a twenty point uh b- b- first score, uh, bench or no bench. He you know what I mean? I, I yeah. gonna come off the bench and drop twenty all the time, but he gonna give me something to work with coming off the bench. So he's a, definitely a good piece coming off the bench for us. I see him coming off tonight, dropping a good thirteen or fifteen off the bench and keeping oh, things so rolling. Oh, so you feeling real confident tonight? Oh yeah, Nick tonight. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> Stop playing with me, man. Stop playing with me, man. Like I think they need the bounce back game. They can't, they can't go down 0-2 and think they're going to win the next four out of five now. Oh, I, oh, 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 oh. So, so, so just because you ain't got no confidence in your boys tonight, man. don't mean man. I ain't supposed to have no confidence man. in my boys, huh? Man, because I'm disappointed in the D'Angelo Russell and Austin Reeves. 13-13? That, that ain't got nothing to do with these guys over here. You man, ain't that, ain't gonna, that ain't going to ain't ain't gonna cut it for me. I, ain't, that, that's not... You ain't got to be bashing these guys because your guys ain't making it happen over there. That ain't got nothing to do with us. Man, y'all lucky, y'all, but y'all know y'all lucky y'all going against a Joel Embiid that's not 100%. Oh, Come on now. God. They got Tyrese Maxey giving y'all 33. Okay. Joel Embiid up- not looking right. You know he ain't looking. Okay. He wasn't okay. looking right and they gave y'all 29 points. He, okay. If he was feeling real good, he would have well, went off for 40 on y'all easily. Well, well, easily. We down, still 40 down and 10, one of, bare minimum. Whoa, whoa. We down one of our best players. We down one of our best players. Ain't nobody talking about that. Imagine if Julius is playing. Oh my it goodness, be no man! It won't be nothing to talk about. It really won't be nothing to talk about. Y'all had like Julius was gonna be keeping Joel and B, man. He was gonna be shooting well, right who, over him. Who's gonna be keeping Julius? Is the question. Tobias, where you at? Hey, Tobias, where you at? Who? Tobias, where you at? Tobias, where you at? Tobias, come on now. He just stepped up the game. Look, man. Contract year, earn his money. One of the men hurt is playing. Oh, Suggs got hurt. Suggs is hurt. He. Th- they, they, they take they taking him off. Nah, I just I um, see they taking him off the court right now. They, then they cut them into that. I'm talking about the knee, like they they carrying him off. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The teammates is carrying him off. He can't put no weight who, on it. Yeah, he's done. Who get who getting carried off? Jalen Suggs. Oh, yeah. They definitely ain't having no chance. Yeah, Pablo ain't that like, like be that over. to be doing it by himself. Now. Oh, no, Pablo nice though. Don't don't, you, don't 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 put Pablo. Yeah, young boy. Right he's nice. He's still a rookie. Nah, this oh, is, he's, like, he's year, still a rookie. Man. Come on, year, man. Year, man. Yeah, no, no, yeah. He's nice, like, man. Come on, man. He ain't like that to be carrying the team by himself. Orlando, what? We know you got the Wagners, but only one of them was playing good. Orlando wouldn't be there if it wasn't for Pablo. Stop playing. I mean, I, I, they, they said if it wasn't for Frank, but that's not, that's not my business. As I, they said if it wasn't for Frank, but that's none of my business, though. Hey, <laughs> yeah. man. Hey, man. <laughs> yeah. Stop it. Frank Wagner. Yeah. <laughs> not the Stop Mo it, Wagner. Man. Frank Wagner. Yeah, the one with the swag. Yeah. 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 No, man. It was just Frank. Bonds or Frank, no matter what one of them <laughs> wagons is. If it wasn't for Pablo, they wouldn't be in that situation. 
All right, let's talk about it. We already talked a little bit about the stats, whatever. Bucks took the first game, 109-94 over the Pacers. They won in convincing fashion. Yeah, they won in convincing fashion. Mm-hmm. No Giannis out to the Kupo. Could push him back because, you know, they say he's coming back. They, uh, I don't know if you listened to the game. They say he's going to come back during the first round series. Obviously, depending on how it goes, is when, when is he going to come back. But it just push his time frame to come back later. And that, that's good for them. I, I, I hope Dame you know what? I hope he, like this. I hope he come back. And I hope he's healthy. Because when we play them next round, I don't want to hear you talking about, Oh, y'all playing against a hurt. Oh, y'all going down. Y'all going down. Y'all going down. Dame Dollar going to be stabbing on y'all. That. All that tough nose uh, defense. You see how he man, man shooting from half court. Y'all better guard him at half court. Uh, All that uh, tough playing physical defense and stuff, do that at the half court. Because don't let y'all going to wait to the three-point line. Man, he's shooting seven, eight feet behind that. Are you not seeing this? Are you we'll not entertained? Get, we'll get there when I'm, the time comes. I'm just saying. We'll get don't there act when like the he ain't time comes. And you ain't seen. He said everybody can get it. Y'all just don't act like you ain't seen the different rotation players on him. Everybody can get the three from the from we, way back behind yeah. the line. Don't act like you ain't seen the different players keeping him from way back behind the three. And he said, I ain't got no picks. Everybody can get this three. I'm just saying. We, we'll talk about that when we get when we get to that point. Okay. Next round. We'll talk about that. Because I already next round. said, all right, that was my pick. I already said the Bucks is winning this, the, the, this round. Yeah, but, yeah but Bucks, they, I said the Dame time. Yeah, if, the Bucks same time. Round, no, I like you. I ain't see this in Portland. And he talked about it. This is his first time being out the playoffs last year. Ain't never went to Coachella ever in his life. He in the playoffs. Now, usually he wanted done. We understand that. But he used to playing in the postseason. And y'all know how he be snapping. Come on, let's, 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 y'all know how he be snapping. Uh, uh, you be boring on that. You be, you, and be snoring on that until Dame Dollar be coming to New York. And they be and you gonna have the New York fans like, man, I wish Dame Dollar was playing in New York over Jalen Brunson. Yeah, you gonna be having some of y'all. Y'all, y'all wish you watched these New York fans. Oh, Kobe said, y'all wish I had Dame Dollar in the, yeah, in the Madison Square Garden. I know you like a player like Jalen Brunson on your team right now to help Jaylen, y'all manage things. He's not Dame stuff. Dollar, though. But but listen, man. Dame Dollar haven't been Dame Dollar this year. Don't act like Dame Dollar been snapping all year. Because he hasn't he been. He was playing with a great team. Y'all don't got no Ayanna Santa Kupo over there. What the hell? Julius Jill, 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 Randle ain't no Ayanna Santa Kupo. That should be even better for him. That should be even easier for him. He but, but you know he's still capitulating and falling back to Giannis. Uh, stop it, bro. Even when even when Giannis is out most of the time, I I see. I remember a game when Bobby Porter's held again. But the those are the games uh, that he, he was having in. good. Hey, yeah, I don't like to get into it, but it's all the news and he's talking about it too. The, the, the divorce is expecting not not the wife, not her, the being away from the kids. Yes, it what are you oh, yo, yo what are you going home? Now and to the kids and, and, and oh, all the euphoria. God. You're missing all the euphoria, the morale, and the good feeling, the good vibes, the good energy that carries over. And I always say this, and you hear me talk about this, so you know me often on the show. I don't know who pissed somebody off before they went to that arena. Because you, cause, cause if, every, if all things are equal and all things are the same, ain't no way this team should lose to this team. But games got to get, get played. And sometimes people get pissed off. Sometimes morale get low. Sometimes things happen. Probably didn't get to the game, and niggas got somebody all thrown off. Word on the street, because, you know, you know they document this thing. They talk about this. Eight of his best games all season. You heard because it wasn't too many. Eight of his best games oh. all season long because the kids was in town. Oh. That's what they said. Oh. That's what they said because the kids was in town. That's what they – man, that's what they said. I'm telling you that's what they said. So the, so the kids is in town Yeah, right the now? kids is in town. <laughs> they better really – yeah, they better – they wasn't in town. He said it. You know, he shouted him out. I, I, you know, they shouted the kids out because they, they was watching them. They, they said, he said he shouted him out the game. But, hey, they might they, they might be in Milwaukee. You know what I mean? When they play t- t- Tuesday night, they might be, you know, take them off to, to, to school for one night, and I'll, I'll sit them on the jet, back, you know, back back to the school next morning. Something like that. You know what I mean? Something like that. Look, man, I ain't trying to hear all, all that. I'm just saying I'm all, that for, stuff, all that stuff. Matters. All that stuff matters. I'm looking for Halliburton and, 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 and uh, Holliburton had nine yeah. points. I'm, I'm looking for him. To, I'm looking for him. You better leave the sizzle. He had eight assists. What am I supposed to do with look, that? Man. I'm looking for him to have a bigger game, game two. Okay? I'm looking for uh, Pascal Siakam to have a bigger He's game, He's the veteran. Game He's the champion. He's the one that they should be following his league. Exactly. And we want to be frank. Exactly. Because he's the champion, and he was a big contributor on that championship team. So he knows how to go. 
I don't know what Obi doing. Come off the bench, giving two points. Obi tapping. That you see why we, we go ahead. Hey, I see why. I see go why ahead. I got rid of him. Go ahead, stuff man. like that. And they was talking about starting him over Randall. Some of these Knicks fans. Come on, man. They got, go ahead. You can have him. All right. Now these guys. Y'all invested in him. That was he was a hot draft pick for you. That's why. These guys. These guys need to get their stuff together. All right. Well, they're not playing no defense. So I mean, could we start with that? Because they all it's too late in the season at this they point. They're all about scoring, and if they're not scoring, I already told you that. You already know that. And so we, what we're going to do about this other side when these guys are playing defense against y'all, and they actually making y'all miss, and they down there got Dave snapping, and they got other contributors. Ooh we. And did you see the spacing out there? I understand Giannis, but you see how Dame was shooting the threes, and he had the driving lanes available to him. That's why they got to give him a little space. Because the lane's wide open. Giannis out there pulling the defender out there. Bobby Porter's out there pulling another defender with the two other shooters. And Dame just got all that free flow motion to work with. And it, But you know he's just pulling up. He's just pulling up in the three you shooting that thing. Man, I'm telling you, I expect to see more of this. And uh, I expect to see Dame, I mean, uh, Pat Bev to be a uh, bigger contributor um, in, in, in game two. I, I, I already said I got Bucks winning that, so there ain't even nothing to talk about. We, we yeah. Man, after I see Indiana game one, I don't think they got, got a shot, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, you got people at work, and I, I didn't even know people acting like they OKC fans. Now, they wasn't even OKC fans when Russell Westbrook and KD was there, and that was actually the best chance for them to win the championship because they was actually in the finals at one point in time, actually in another uh, conference finals at another point in time, and I ain't see that many fans. Now, SGA, y'all – and these people couldn't even tell you who the rest of the players on the team. I already know that. They playing the Pelicans, those Zion. Brandon Ingram. Come on, man. Like, like, what, 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 uh, Brandon Ingram. He had, um, let me pull, pull, pull his points. He had 12 points. The best player was CJ McCollum with 20 points. And he's not even like that to be somebody's best player. So y'all know y'all ain't going to win with him. Got him trying to take the last shots. So he bubbling and fumbling and stumbling the ball over. Damn, we going with him with the last shot, Brandon Ingram. You not like that? Uh, you still, you still hurt? Come on, man. You still hurt? Like, like I ain't trying to hear none of that. Yes, we understand CJ McCollum is the go-to guy, but I'm saying if he's your go-to guy, he's your best player. You're not gonna win nothing, not a, not a damn thing. And people getting impressed with them being the number one seed. I'm trying to let them know they was gonna lose to the Lakers if we was playing them. We beat them in all season long. I mean, with the series, the, the series, we beat them in the series. Long. But they, they not like that against any veteran team that got that that got that that veteran. I'm talking about that's tried and tried and proven. Um, Clippers is not tried and proven, but they got the quads, they got the Paul George, they got the James Harden, they got the Russell Westbrook. So they will lose against that type of team and stuff like that. Um, I expect the Thunder to take care of business. Now, when we get to the see them in the semifinals, the next round. Now we can actually have a real conversation. But but this is easy picking, especially with no Zion. And you already know Brandon Ingram. He just be showing up collecting checks, but he'll be bring his game. Wait. Let me rewind what you, you said now when y'all seen him in the second round. What do you mean? But I, 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 already, I already told you. I already told you the teams that could be beating be, you know, them. And we're one of them. But y'all not going to have I'm just a saying. chance to. Y'all won't have that chance to. Y'all going home in five. Hey, five. Yeah. He's so disrespectful. Okay. That's like, yo, oh, I can't oh, wait for you to be wrong and wrong, and, and, and you got to be backtracking that, and you are really going to have to be giving us our props. Y'all too old. Because we're going to take care of business. Oh, because we, two at the you time. already know people, know, people's jobs are, are in jeopardy. They know they can't go out twice in embarrassing fashion to, the, to, to this team and get no wins against them in over two years. Ain't no way, and you, and we gonna come back and do the idiotic thing and be status quo and bring everybody back. In what world does that work, bro? Y'all going you, you know people want to live in la la. Y'all gonna win one game in LA, and that's it. Man, well, it's gonna be a whole new roster in, 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 in LA. You better look forward uh, to it. LeBron might not even be there. You better look forward to it. If, if, if that's what you saying, we going out like that. LeBron might not even be there, cause cause. This ain't working, cause this ain't working. Well, but Austin Reeves, 
I believe can do something to combat that. We ain't going to act like he don't be snapping for no 20s and 30s now. I'm going to need, I'm gonna need that, that type of performance out of you. Consistently, at least through this series, D'Angelo Russell, you can't put your money on him. You can't do it. You can't do it. You hope and you pray. Maybe it's an anomaly, but it ain't nothing that, that you can write, write, write a check and go to the bank and catch that. You can't do it. Really start off, off hot this game. Game is on on uh, TNT. You know I mean? So I'm checking in the score real quick. They start off hot. In this yeah, game. yeah, 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 yeah. You know, um, they, I, I didn't really get to see because I, I was rambling, but they didn't put the nine points quickly and fast. I, I was just rambling on, you know, they done did that fast and hurry because they already know what the expectations is. We need to, Tyrese might try to snap for 40 or something because you well, it might be a struggle for Joel to get another 29 points per, per game. But Joel, I mean, he, his scoring to be so impactful. You know what I mean? So demoralizing to y'all. You know what I mean? It's, Mainly getting the buckets when they needed it the most. Maybe not. Maybe let uh, wearing wearing down Tyrese Maxey, but allowing uh Joel and B to get those buckets when y'all needed the most. Stuff like that. And it will hurt if Tobias Harris shows up and act like he's getting paid max dollars because because he is. I haven't seen him show up in years. <laughs> he had a couple, not not too much. We had a handful of good games this season. Just a handful. Just a handful. Um, let's get into some. Couple of other matchups that took place. Excuse me. Um, I had to go some off chart. No, we didn't went through that. Paces. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, the Nuggets. The Suns. Oh, excuse me. The Timberwolves. 120. Uh, uh, excuse me. 120. 95 went over the Suns. They took the 1 0 lead. Where are you at with that series? I'm impressed with Andy Evers' game. I did not expect him to show up and show out like that. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe you know he can't do this the rest of the rest of the uh, the series. But oh, because well, Ant Man, Ant Man is a problem. He can do this again. He, what I'm saying he had 33 points. Carl Anthony Towns, he only had the 19 points. Now I would expect more out of um, Booker. I understand Kevin Durant gave you the 31. Booker with the 18. This is the game you need. You you y'all average both twenty seven on the season. We need at least thirty from y'all in the, in the playoffs, Booker. You know these things. I mean, I don't care about the. I mean, and you five assists. You know, trying to get people involved. Everybody fall back. Y'all don't got no point guard on the team. You you know you expect them to get thirty five or something. Go be snapping on them scoring wise. You need that out of you. Um, um, it amazes me when guys be getting these contracts and then they they, they be putting up some crazy performance as what, a fact. What? What Bradley Bill had? Um, Gary, uh, Grayson Allen, seventy million for the four or five years, whatever. Three years. Three Played years. decent all season long. Three years, four points. You feel it? You feel real fat off of that contract now? We don't. We don't reward you for what you earned and believing that because you're a young pup, you can still carry this on. Especially in the playoffs, they they counting on you to be that the leading three point percentage um in the league for a first player. Oh, from three. That wasn't like you are regular right season long. Now it's the playoffs. This is a little the pressure a little too tight from you. Now we know you played that dude. We understand you was too busy tripping people and doing the dirty tactics, and you wasn't really, you know, looking to be depending on scoring wise like that. You we, we know you were scoring, but you was worried about the dirty tactics. Now we need you to cut out that bull crap and focus on contributing the scoring wise. And then when it matters the most, you you. Said to your team, you only got four points for them. That's crazy. And Bradley Bill, huh. you know, you're done, son. Like your your career is done. You about to be going to the bench after this. That's the only next place that you'll be going to. Or well, China, because all, all that scoring on the, the losing weak teams that don't mean nothing ever, because we know you're not doing it in win in winning fashion. When you got a great opportunity. When you the third option and you supposedly this is one of these great scorers and you doing stuff like that, nah, you ain't one of these great scorers. You just scoring on a bad team. Somebody gotta be scoring the most on a bad team. It ain't like the bad team is going out there and scoring zero. So so somebody gotta be the leader scorer on a bad team. And that's how I always look at that type of stuff. And oh ahead. The, the injuries, arthritis, the the, the groins, whatever the excuses is. Cause you acting like oh you acting like LeBron James out there. You always be low management. Man, you, it, 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 the, like, it's it's all excuses for injuries 
All the injury excuses, I ain't trying to hear none of that. I really am not. Bradley Bill, you you let your your brothers down out there because they depend on you be that twenty point per score. You know what I'm saying? And they they gonna need some type of help. Now, honestly, I didn't expect that they would need help. I thought you know Kevin Durant going off for the thirty, and I would expect Booker to be going off for the thirty as well, and, and that'd be helping them. And then I expect you know Grayson Allen to continue to be having the sense that he was having all season long because that's 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 the body of work that he put out there. But he just disappointed everybody. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm impressed with, with Anthony Evers. He definitely carried that team on his back for real, for real. That's what, that's what they got to need. He got to be the leader of that team. Cat coming off an injury, he's still getting his stuff together. Edwards got to be the man of that team and take him by storm, for real, for real. Yeah, so um, um, I'm still rolling with the Suns to win the series. I'm still rolling with the Suns to win the series. Where you yeah, at? Yeah, that was the first – that was the first game Minnesota uh, won this year against the Suns. They didn't, yeah, they yeah, yeah, obviously. It was 0-3 against the Suns in the regular season. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I was based on my, I, uh, my pick on. I want to go Suns, but I don't know how this, this, this Devin Booker and Bradley Bell go to Chibber. Um Bradley, I mean, Devin Booker just said, yo, Bradley Bell, just fall back. You get in where you fit in. I'm, I'm snapping on him. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm snapping. Like, we just snapping on him. We just get him where you fit in. Devin's gonna have to step it up. He's gonna have to step it up in, in order for them to win this series. Uh, I still want to go to the Suns as well because Katie, my guy. Um, so I still got faith in them, but they go down. O two, it might be over for them. Yeah. Now we we gonna get to the last matchup. I would say I was impressed with because I, I I definitely did not expect this to I be know. I to turn up. I thought Dallas was gonna take. I, it. I thought. The Dallas was going to win, too. The Clippers won in a static fashion. This game was – yeah, we understand the game was – got close moments, but this game was never close. They had the game yeah. in control yeah. the whole duration. I'm telling – this is what I'm saying. The 109-97 win. Why I said they controlled the game? James Harden had the yeah, Houston James Harden. He played like James, um, um, James, um, Houston James Harden. But, I, I, I mean, Paul George, he, he, he done chipped in. I'm not even impressed with him. Zubak, the Lakers had him. We drafted him, let him go. They got the 20 points. Uh, he had the 20 points, 15 rebounds. But when they just wanted easy buckets, dipping in him that he was going to work on the big man down there. He was just going to work down there in the paint. Whenever we just wanted an easy bucket, they dipping down to Zubak and just getting easy buckets. He was going to work on them. I said, oh, they doing stuff like that. It's a wrap. And you had the Paul George chipping in with the 20. And then you had James Harden snapping on like the old James Harden uh, ways. Russell Westbrook coming off the bench, uh, snapping on them um, alley hoops, contributing, hu hu hustling, doing doing his thing. Beautiful basketball. I was impressed. Can't t talk uh, too highly of the Clippers, uh, me and Ben as Laker fan, but I was impressed with the performance they put out there. And um, we understand the car. See, this is what you expected from Devin Booker and uh, KD. Both of them went off for the, for the 30 plus. Respectfully, but other than the PJ Washington, Tim Hardaway Jr., how huh. disappointing you! You're better than six points per game. I mean, you're better than six points um get game. That's unacceptable. You usually be snapping, starting. I understand you coming off the bench and you be giving them points off the bench too. I don't know what's going on, but you had PJ Washington was the only other other person that showed up for for the Mavericks. I, so I, I I was um I was confused of of you know, the run that the Mavs went on to end the season, what, what, what was the best team after the all-star break, all, 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 all the hot hoopla. Then we get to the playoffs. The rest of the guys is no show up. Obviously, we expect the Kyrie and, and the Luka to show up and did her thing. But everybody everybody else is on no shows. That's what, that was un, 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 unbelievable. Hold on. Excuse me a second. You take over. Yeah, so, so I don't know. I believe, I believe Dallas is uh, win this series. I'm not sure uh, if the Clippers gonna be able to handle it uh, or bring that much, bring that much show, uh, pressure and, and, and control of the game like they did the first game. So I definitely got Dallas taking this series. I think Kyrie and Luka got snapped even more in uh, game two, and I think the big man down low is not gonna let Zubac go off like he did the first game. So I still got Dallas winning this series. Uh, probably it's probably gonna go seven. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's definitely gonna go seven. Oh, man, like I had Dallas winning, but man, basically I'm that like I'm like, ooh, skeptical of my off day because I'm like, they can't go four to go 
for that whole two the way the Clippers was looking. Because yeah. you, you, you know Kawhi's going to come back if they – if it's – okay, they come back. If, if it gets tied some way, somehow, like, Kawhi's going to come back based on how the series is going to go. So, I mean, man, I didn't expect the Clippers to, to look like that. I, I, I just didn't. Um going to wrap this up soon because we know we got it we got plenty um, nba going on i know man i was about to go back and forth with with, with that monday night raw and so to my legs come on with the nightcap you know what i'm saying because uh all lies all lies on my leg show and that's so i'm gonna be a little dog tired in the morning for work but i mean we got important we got important business to be tended to tonight i gotta i gotta have my eyes on this and make sure that we ain't going down oh nothing you heard make sure we ain't going down oh nothing Hey, this is serious business right now. The season's on live tonight. This is yeah, this oh, is really critical. The season's on live tonight, yeah. The season's on live tonight, so yeah, we gotta take care of business. But some other poor stuff we got we attend to. I know I, this is gonna turn into a whole nother conversation, but uh, as I was say we're gonna end on here because I got other stuff on address. But the Saturday night boxing, you uh, 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 not unanimous, but 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 the majority decision. Brian Garcia winning over Devin Haney. Devin Haney getting. Knocked Knocked down the three times. I, I've been told you I never was sold on Devin Haney ever. Never was impressed with him. Never. Not even saying I was impressed with Ryan Garcia. But Ryan, Ryan Garcia, obviously, the, his style is, you know, is, is, is more, more like, I guess, attractive, more appealing, more engaging. Obviously, he's like, you know, trying to do like a, a, a knockout artist. And when I'm, I'm, I'm saying man got 20 knockouts. We understand that um, Devin Haney had 31 uh, with 31 0 had more fights than him. But my man, he had about 15 knockouts compared to, to the 20. And you had way more fights than him. So, you know, obviously, you know, Garcia knocking things out. But uh, obviously, when, when he focused, he could look good. But he wasn't even focusing for, for this fight. I mean, let him, let, him, let, let him tell it the way he was acting, all the, the, the acting crazy, all that stuff, the partying. I don't even know if he, he, he was drinking or what. Like he said, he was drinking, smoking, partying up the whole time. Whatever. Okay, that's what she was doing. That, that's what works for you. Whatever. whatever. Sometimes, sometimes it works for people. So mostly it, it, it don't. But he definitely won in conviction fashion. And the referee was with Sean Cheat. Trying to take points away from him. We know we saw Devin Haney at the end of, uh, end of the fight do the exact same thing. When they was gripped, because Devin Haney, and we're going to get to that, but Devin Haney kept grabbing him. When he pulled away earlier, he got the point, took it away. They did that again to him later, late in the later rounds, took another point away from Garcia for doing that again. Devin Haney did that. What was it, like 11th or the 12th round? He did that. He got the warning. Y'all ain't give Garcia not one warning, but y'all give David Haney a warning. Mm -hmm. I, I, I peeped all that. But I didn't even think it was egregious because I'm on the mindset, you the ref, you're supposed to have some discernment, and they keep talking about the ref's judgment. You see that he's blatantly grabbing at him or AKA taking a knee so it don't be count as a knockdown because he had two other, two, three other knockdowns for real for that he could have had because I know my eyes telling me. You know that you he about to knock you out. You Let me go grab him and lean forward, take the knee so they don't count as a knockdown. You Come on, man. Nobody was peeping that. Anybody that know the boxing know that's that that was a little strategy to do because he, man, he was and that's why he was doing the the wobble legs, wobble legs, wobble legs, wobble, legs, wobble, legs, wobble legs, because his legs man, wobbly old fight. Garcia Looking was like giving Spence him the work, there. man. Looking yeah, like Spence Gar out there. Garcia was giving him the work the whole fight, man. I think they should have stopped it after the third knockdown. I don't know why why they just kept it going. His it wasn't gonna be done. Was bleeding the whole bro, fight. It wasn't gonna be nothing even discussed the fight over. Did you bro. see how he kept getting hooked with, hit with the same left hook? Dropping, the wobbling, same, same man, I'm like, bro, and bro, they keep talking bro. about the speed, but my thing is like, if nothing else, at least be on the phone the whole time with with the left joint. You know, at least if, 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 if nothing else, is make sure that thing's because he, you got to hit two, twice already from that, a couple mm -hmm. other times that, that you had to lean forward to. He kept kept him, catching him with the left, yeah, it's just, on top of the dome, just, on side of the dome. I, the that, I thought Haney was gonna uh, have a better fight than what he was what he had or what he showed, but it's either something was bothering him on his mind or he's just That's not right that type of fighter yeah, that yeah. Yeah. Or he's just not that type of the, fighter the, that we all thought it was. The three pounds, that much of a difference? Nah. It can't I be. I ain't trying to hear that. I, I understand you ain't winning no titles, no winning no belts. Now the belt's been vacant. I don't get none of that with, with, with you with Dorian Rod Garcia. That, 
it, you're a lunatic. I didn't talk about that you don't want no titles. I don't know what's going on. Prize fighter, golden boy, talk about he calls, you know, he got the title to be calling shots. He, Gar Barney Garcia, he's making all the demands. Now, I don't know if you call, call uh, uh, the, the, uh, Dana Hoyle popping off. The, uh, he making all the demands. But your man didn't win the title. He ain't being disciplined. Nah. I'm under the mindset. I mean, excuse me if I'm wrong, that the person who has the title, they got the gold and make, they make the golden rules. That's usually how it goes. Obviously, that on top of you're selling out, you know what I mean, ability to sell out and all, all that stuff, but you have the ability to sell out and you got the title, that, that, that you, you do make all the rules. I mean, unless you like the Canelo Hoyle, I mean, um, uh, uh, Canelo, when he, when he looked, got his title, Title stash from him when, when, when yeah when the, yeah he when, when he got when we got knocked out um but he already had that 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 that, that champion following and then obviously the, the, the he had the whole Mexico following but he already got the built the, the built in equity, equity built in you know what I mean he he was going to get the rematch immediately so it was, it was you know what I mean well well I mean that well, he ain't get the rematch for that but you know he was gonna be obviously he didn't get the rematch for that because stuff ain't work out but. You know he's gonna be fighting for another title real soon. Mm -hmm. So, Ryan Garcia, I don't know what you're doing. He's a great fighter. Ain't taking nothing away from him. I, I mean, me personally, if I feel like if he cut out something that crazy enough and and honed, honed in, there ain't no way you should have missed the weight and you and you have t t opportunity to be winning the title. Like, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? But I, I would agree. He looked good. He looked healthy compared to look at Anorexy fighting against uh, Tank Davis. When you see all his rib cage so, and everything exposed like that, his body looked more healthy and full forward than fit. Would you not agree? He posted the picture of his next fight. Well, he posted a picture saying that he's tired of it. And the picture was him and Jake Paul. So I don't know if that's who he want to fight next. Well, I, I, I think he'll be Jake Paul. I understand Jake Paul got the weight. But these guys consistently doing this thing against – Consistent top nine top competition, and people like Ryan Garcia, they're only fighting the best of the best. They ain't fighting the the twenty something rank or the hundred something rank or some novelist or somebody just doing it part time or somebody just just in shape for other things and we're going to try to train for this like last minute. It ain't that type of situation. These guys is consistently doing things at a high level, and the muscle memory alone, regardless of the weight disparity, uh, the uh, weight discrepancy. Alone is going to get you. Oh, by the way, they ain't retired like Floyd Mayweather. They're actively, consistently doing this thing, too. They would never want to fight a Canelo, a Terrence Crawford, a Shakur Stevenson, a Tank Davis. It, dare I say, even a Devin Haney. You know what I'm saying? Ryan Garcia. These guys are consistently doing it at the top level. And these guys, and, and, and Jake Paul knows they don't want those. Logan Paul, Logan Paul, these guys know they don't want no smoke with this guy. Because once, what, with these type of guys, because once you get too many of those, first of all, I think once you get one of those L's, all that marketing and stuff and that sold out stuff and all that money that you're making, that's going to take a dent in it. Because, they're, yeah, we know you could just beat up on these guys that ain't training consistently like like like, like how you're doing it. But you, you try to be a big fish in a small pond instead of be going to the big pond that you're supposed to be going to because the way that you're training. Be, and, and you're not even making yourself better. Yeah, you can spar with the people all you want. But, okay, you you ain't you ain't sparring with, with, with nobody in – in, 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 in those top-notch guys' camps. You're not, because you might get embarrassed out there. And that, that, that film, you know they're filming everything. they filming it, so hey, that's hey. not going to be out. Everybody going to be letting you know he can't be doing this for real. Hey, you got a knockout close against Mike Tyson. Well, you gonna have, you can't have you a knockout close with Ryan. Yeah, knockout close with Ryan. You forgot you mentioned something like that. Hey, how are you doing that? What you so shaky for? I thought you you like that. I thought you trained training like that. And this man got 30 years on you. He's supposed to be having slow, so, so reflexes and everything like that. You supposed to be consistently training to be like that, but but you're not. We understand this is money grabbing it. I understand. Hey, I'm gonna be watching the fight. I get all that, but any everybody knows. Yes, it might be entertaining. We want to watch the spectacle, but you don't get no points. You don't get no respect. You don't get no love for that. You like these wins. Yes, it might technically count. I I I, I you know, uh, what's your record? But you won't get no respect for this. You could be. Un I mean, obviously you're not undefeated, but you could. Yeah, but like I'm saying, the, the, the Tyson Fury, he's one. He's a, a 200 ranked top fighter in the in the world. He's one of the bottom of the bottom barrels, and you can't beat him. That's what we talking about. Like like just do somebody that fight somebody that's consistently doing this, 
and you you'll get a little more respect. But we already know you're not doing that because you're gonna you, you're gonna lose. It's as yeah. simple as that. Yeah. And after you lose, you might be down in the WWE with your brother. So. Yeah, yeah. Cause that, that's next next stop. And that's a great. That's a brilliant move for him. And he knows he's an entertainer, Logan Paul. Yeah. He ain't he ain't debunking that. So and, and he's he's cool with that. That's the the growth and the maturity of him being the older brother. Cause he know, come on, man, he knows what it is. The younger brother being delusional, acting like he gonna be fighting Canelo. Canelo said, "When I'm done to retire, that's the only way." It's disrespectful for him to be getting in the ring with. He didn't earn none of this stuff, and how he's not even like that at all. Now, nope. maybe if it's a situation, was was it? I'm just just say what I'm saying. We understand it didn't work out. But a Francis uh, Nungalago, where you could earn, obviously, yeah. however you you you, you rather, made that arrangement, how you make arrangement? I'd rather see him and Francis go at it. Yeah, I'd but how you make Francis arrangement with one of those fighters? If you could look oppressive and still lose, then okay, another fighter might give you a chance at that top level. But obviously, he got, got knocked out because you know what I mean. Andy Joshua was in training camp and, and taking it serious because Tyson Fury was doing the thing and not taking taking it serious. But you know, you, you, you we understand. When these boxes lock in on you, and you being a novice to this thing, and you just part time doing this, and you just now trying to do this, man, they're going to work on you. You got yeah. the full undivided attention, like Anthony Josh, Joshua locked in. We, it's it's a wrap. We getting you, we getting you up out of here. Yeah. And as simple as that. Now, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Do you know what's going on? Is Ryan Garcia going to be fighting for what title? What is Devin Haney going to do? Who's who's Tank Davis going to fight next? Well, Tank I don't got, know what's going on. Tank, Tank got a fight in June. I think it's in June. He fight Frank Mark. That's his next. Okay, one. so he fight Frank that, Mark. Yeah, so after that, I don't know what's gonna happen after that. But his next fight is Frank Martin. Um, that's coming up soon. Um, but I I don't know. They talking about maybe another rematch with with Tank and Garcia. Maybe. But I'm not sure it, about that. They got to the catch weight. I I want the catch weight stuff. I, I am on the mindset, because you see some of these people be looking so weak when they drop the weight. He, I'm talking about the physical drop some appearance. Weight in that first fight. Yeah, he I'm talking, drop some weight talking about the, fight. like, they look, man, you look, I understand you dropped the weight, but it's like you look significantly little and, like, unhealthy look and, like, your muscle is gone. Look like, it, 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 it looks, yeah. it look, some people could do it, and it, it's not like, I don't know, maybe it's like, because like, uh, they do it so quickly. And when it rather than it being a gradual thing, it could look more healthier. Man, he, he, even like, you know, we learned this from the Roy Jones joint. Um, from but like he claims when he went up the heavyweight to come back down, that's really screwed him up because he was constantly going up and the down with the with the Walter weight and the middle weight and the super heavyweight. He was doing some weird stuff like that. And I'm like, man. But the the other conversation we're gonna say for next week, because the Terrence Crawford, that's a, that's a whole respectful conversation that need to be done. Because I i don't know what's going on. I don't even know who the, who, who the Israel guy is. I don't even know who he is. All due respect, I understand he's the, the middleweight champion and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But, man, I'm like, like, what is going on, man? I understand Canelo. One of the Canelo's, they relinquished the, 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 the title. Well, I think, the, the, wait, wait. They relinquished the titles because he was the unified champ. So they just split all the titles up. When he did that correctly, yeah. So now everybody just got a got a got a middleweight title like from the the WBC, the WBA, whatever. They, oh, okay, okay. Because I'm like, man, they like how, where are these titles at, man? Now, Terrence Crawford, you gotta go around and try to collect all these joints out, and you go on the wrong side of 35. Like, like what are we doing? I mean, I, I don't know. Do how it, how we're we're gonna, gonna, I don't see how he's going to be able to first become fight a when he went up. His first fight when he went up was pretty good. Now we're gonna see. This is this is a totally different weight class. I'm not sure if he's gonna dominate like he did his previous weight class. Yeah, I because I, I know he was. I don't know if you follow anything he's saying. He he wants to be uh, another unified yeah. champion at the, at the next yeah. the class. But I, I just father father time kicking in with you on the wrong side of 35, and these titles are so uh, so so separated now. How are you gonna be collecting these these title fights back to back? Because I don't see you just gonna get. Four title defense fights in a he got, row. He got he got three to five years to get that thing right. Once forty hit, he done. Yeah. Once thirty eight, thirty nine, he might be done. But yeah, 
Got a little bit of time to get that yeah. done. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll dive heavy more into that next week. But yeah. to wrap this to um, Ryan Garcia, definitely, you know, progress with him with doing the fight, doing his thing. Uh, we'd like to see him be focusing and try to, you know, go after one of these titles. All that you, that golden boy talking about, about prize fighting and calling the night and the numbers. Y'all didn't even sell out the Barclays. So I don't even know what y'all talking about. Yes, we understand y'all might did good, get great on the pay-per-view buys and all that stuff because plenty of people wasn't going there. And he he admitted on the Breakfast Club, I don't know if you saw, saw last week, you know, the first 10 rows, he, he got a little greedy. He did our, he did our price. Not saying our price is celebrities, because they could, but they know for this fight, this ain't the Terrence Proper Earl Spence fight where you could be just skyrocketing those prices. This ain't that type of fight, and they humble you and let you know. This ain't a Canelo fight where it doesn't matter who he fight. You, you can, you know, price these the, the first 10 rows, something crazy. These celebrities like, man, these two? Nah, we ain't paying for that, man. We'll watch it on TV. It ain't even yeah, like that. Yeah. And it might be a little chilly on a, on, on an April weekend. Rather than in a April weekend in, in Las Vegas, California, where these guys is from, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. And you um, know what but, type of week? And you know what last weekend, last Saturday was. So you know everybody out at different different events, play, different festivities. Playoffs was going on. ML, mm -hmm. excuse me, NHL, NBA. You know what I'm saying? Birthday parties going on. Different events. You, you different, know, different. Yeah, different events for the holiday. Yeah, was the, 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 the comedy show going to the. So, you you know, know what I mean? The wild now, not the wild now. The you know the people from Wild Now, DC, Young Fly, and, yeah, and uh, Lil Duval. They was LA in the city. Yeah. They they took some of your spotlight. With it for for uh, I don't know if it was Saturday night. Was I I, I, I know they was in Atlanta the City. I don't know if it was Saturday or Friday night, but they was definitely in Atlanta the City taking some spotlight from y'all this weekend. Probably both. Yeah, it was crazy. Probably both. Crazy man. So you know you had you, you had that because I know people from York that went up there and wasn't even thinking about the fight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we got we got stuff. We got our sport of business going on right now. We got things to get into, man. We got to put a pin in this. I got to take some of these conversations and carry this over to, to the next Monday as we re recap, uh, uh, you know, I guess the rest of this round. Uh, most of these rounds should be wrapped up by the time we, we come in the next Monday. There's plenty of sports stuff going on. We got to dive into. NFL so, draft. I mean, obviously, man, we, we ain't going to know what we're just going to continue to do what we do. Anything you want to say before uh, we get up out of here? Don't forget about the NFL draft is on Thursday. Mm -hmm. This weekend, uh -huh. so we got some NFL news gonna be coming up this yeah, week so we, Monday as well. Yeah, man, right, we got right, a jam packed show. To figure something out, but having have another show during the weekend, so we yeah, got we, 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 we got to figure something because there's a lot going on. It's definitely, I mean, but this is be the beautiful time right now. There's a lot of going on in the sports world, plenty to talk about. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Fresh Sports Sports Show YouTube page. Continue to run it up. Uh, we're gonna let this cook, let it marinate, let it bubble up. We we'll stay tuned next time. We out.